opening day is I mean, magical words, whatever whatever level or whatever it is you're doing, I would imagine it's a, it's a great thing. Very much so. Excited to get things going. And, uh, you know, if you're not getting a little nervous and get the juices flowing for opening day, then, you know, that never ends. So uh, it's, it's excited to get going. And we got, you know, got a good bunch of guys here. I know they're excited to get going and get playing and, and a lot of good things ahead for everybody. How would you characterize this team based on what you've seen in this spring training? Uh, we've got a lot of talent. We've got a lot of guys with a lot of ceiling. And, uh, you know, uh, you know they got, they're here for a reason. You know, the guys aren't in the big leagues for a reason. They've got some work to do, but they understand that. And uh, really hardworking group and uh, with a lot of talent. So looking forward to watching them play and watching them develop. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll be here and be ready if they're needed. But uh, hopefully we don't have any problems up top and they can stay here and get some consistency down here and be ready to go. What do you feel is the key for this team? Is there anything, you know, what are the questions about this team? That took well, you guys all tell me they never hit here. So, I mean, I guess they got a hit, right? So, uh, I, you know, they, they, we're going to pitch. You know, we got some good arms. We're going to pitch a little bit. And, uh, you know, the key to every season and every team is, you know, pitching and defense for the most part. The hitting's up and down and kind of cyclical. So, you know, the guys that will hit will hit, and the guys that don't usually don't. And hopefully, you know, they'll get better and they'll improve. But uh, you got to pitch and you got to play some defense. How would you describe this pitching staff? It looks like a pretty deep staff for one thing, but how would you describe the staff? Yeah, we've got some depth and, uh, you know, we've got some good arms and some guys that know how to pitch. But, but again, you know, with the arms we have, uh, the guys are here for a reason. And if, if they, with the, the arms that we do have, if they were consistent, they probably wouldn't be here. So uh, hopefully we'll get them consistent and get them ready to go. And, uh, you know, the whole goal with the, the whole thing is to get them all out of here. It'd be Nice to turn the team over, but you know, realistically, that never happens. But that's kind of the goal on on our part as a staff is to get guys ready and get them out of here. Would you want a tight ship? As, you know, how would you describe it? No, I don't. I don't know. You have to ask these guys. That's that's hard telling. I know. Uh, you know, we we have some structure and guys work, and uh, you know, that's that's to be expected. But uh, you know, the bottom line is the guys got to play and have fun, and they've got to be accountable and they've got to produce. So. Uh, we can do whatever we want to do, but you know we we can't make them big leaguers. They've got to come out here and work and put the time in and do the work, and then they've got to perform. So uh, you know that's ultimately what it's all about. We, we, I know you're aware of this. 68 home runs last year. That's that's not a lot. Yeah, it's better than 65. So you know they, you know I I think that's that's kind of all relative. If if you pitch and play defense, I mean the goal is to score one more than them every night. It doesn't matter if it's 10 more or one more. So. Uh, I mean, that, the goal we're trying to teach these guys winning baseball. And uh, if, if you win games, you're doing stuff right, whether it's by one run and we hit 20 home runs all season or if it's by 15 and we hit 200. I mean, uh, I think you can look around the big leagues and see the teams that pound the ball doesn't necessarily mean they win championships. So uh, you, you've got to have a good mix, and we've got to have guys that show up every night and play hard and uh, want to get after it and take some pride in what they're doing and, and that are accountable. And uh, that's kind of what we expect. And uh, you know, if we if we do that, we'll win some games. I mean, you, you just never know how many. But uh, if we do that, good things will happen. Is it hard or easy to listen to your tenure as a minor league manager to talk about winning and you want to win games, but you also talk about development for the major leagues. So there's a fine line there, guys. You know, you want to win, but you also have to develop players as well for the major leagues. Well, that's a good crutch for us because then when we don't win, I can tell you that. So that's, you know, it's an easy thing for us as minor league coaches and managers is to fall back on. But... You know, ultimately, if, if the, the goal is to win and move guys to the big leagues that are winning ball players, and uh, so, you know, winning is part of development, and you got to learn how to win. You got to learn how to move runners. You got to learn how to get guys out in tough spots. And uh, if you can't do that down here, you surely can't do it in the big leagues when the pressure's on, and, and you know, when it's all about winning. So, again, you know, we've kind of got that that crutch to fall back on down here, but that's kind of no excuse. I mean, if guys go out and perform and do the right things, we're going to win some ball games because. They're going to have numbers, and good things will happen for everybody if you come out and play to win. Coach, what about the, the ballpark? Different strategy playing in such a big park? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we play half the games in other parks, so uh, we just we show up here and play. I mean, it, we our team's what it is, and uh, you know that the field in Miami is pretty similar, from what I understand, and uh, you know, so maybe that there's a reason for that. But uh, I think the guys just have to come out here and play and. Uh, you know, you can make some adjustments, I think, if you're playing in Baltimore or Fenway or New York based on on the short porches and stuff there. But by the same token, we've got some pretty good athletes here that can run some balls down and play some defense and maybe take advantage of the spaces we do have here. Talk about analytics and, and, and 
your thoughts personally on it and what, what the, the Marlins organization thoughts on? Well, I think it's an important part of the game. Everybody's using them. Uh, it's a tool. It's just like a radar gun. It's just like a watch. Uh, you know, it's a tool for part of the game and a very useful tool. But, uh, you know, anytime there's human element involved, guys got to go out and play. And so it's not the, you know, no all end all to everything. But it is an important part of the game. And people are hiring a lot of guys and it's it's effective. And there's a lot of merit to what, what they're about. But uh, again, uh, you know, if it was that easy, I think everybody would put something together on paper and you wouldn't have to play the game. So uh, you still guys still have to go out and hit it and catch it and throw it. And that's the element we can't uh, factor into anything. Are you, a fan of it on? Are, you, are you a fan of it? Well, I think we all have to be fans of it because it's a part of what we deal with nowadays. And, uh, you know, you learn to deal with it and we learn to accept it and we learn to use it. I mean, we all use it. We've used it for 50, 60, 70 years. It's just nobody's made a big deal out of it. Managers have always looked at stats and have always looked at numbers and have always, you know, looked at that stuff. It's just now everybody's paying attention to it, and so it's it's turned into a, a bigger thing from the media standpoint and from the public's eye, I think. But uh, you know, managers and coaches for a long time of they, you know, they've always shifted players. You just don't notice it because they nobody's made a big deal out of it. The guys have always played guys to pull or played guys the other way or brought an outfielder in with two strikes and similar situations it's just now the, the you know you used to do it because guys seen guys hit balls there all the time now it's all over a piece of paper and it justifies everything and but you, they still hit balls in the gap and they still get hits off sliders that they're not supposed to because you got the human element involved and players have to play so it's not as simple as it's drawn out on that paper short period of time you've, you've had with Austin Noel but just talk about there's a lot of local interest toward him what, what have you seen and what do you like in this game uh, baseball player, very fun. I know guys down at spring training, uh, you know, raved about him and uh, getting to watch him play and in the big league games and everything. He had a really good camp, and uh, you know, his hitting's improving. He's. Uh, I think you guys are going to see that. You're going to see some improvement, which uh, you know he, he needed to improve a little bit, from what I understand, and, and continue to develop and get better. But uh, he's a good player for a guy. He can move the ball around and bunt and hit and run and do a lot of things. And you know he's been schooled very well. He knows how to play the game, and uh, which makes him a valuable guy. He can play all over the in infield, and you know he's working on a little bit of outfield and some things to just make him a valuable player. And he's a, you know, he reminds me a little bit when you you know see guys like him and Pedroia and some of the, you know Rojas that we have and some of the guys around the big leagues that are just good baseball players. From what you've seen in spring training, what do you like about this team? I just like the fact that they all have a chance to get better, that the ceiling on these guys is you haven't seen the finished product yet. So, you know, we can get out here and get to work and they all have a chance to. I think the fact that they're here should tell them that they've got a chance to improve and get better. But, uh, you know, sometimes that doesn't do justice to some of these guys. But uh, we've got a very athletic group. We've got some arms that control pretty hard. We've got some good defensive players. and. Uh, you know, the hitting stuff is up and down all the time. You, you know, like I said, hitting's kind of up and down, and you deal with it. So hopefully you can be consistent with what you need to be consistent with, which is the base running and uh, defense. And guys will come out here and play hard, and if they do that, good things will happen. You have two guys from uh, played South Korea last year, Korea last year, some veteran players. How would you describe them as players and what they add to this effort? Well, I think they're pretty, you know, they've performed, and any time guys that have performed and have played well, they, you know, they bring something to the team that the young guys can kind of look at and, and see but you know as we know every year is a different year and so now as baseball players do and all the athletes do they got to come out and perform again and uh, you know people buy tickets to see them perform and to throw numbers up and uh, when they don't they usually let them know about it and when they do everybody expects them to do that so you know it's a tough gig that they've got but that's what they do and you know most of them are professional and come out here and and do their best every day so that's kind of what you know we're looking for out of all those guys. Can Xavier Scruggs be a viable power guy for this team day in and day out? I think so. I think he's performed that, you know, and if you look at his his averages and things in, from the past, that he shows you he's a pretty good baseball player. He's with a real good organization, came up through the system, another guy that knows how to play the game and is pretty versatile and uh, it's going to be a, you know, big bat in the middle of our lineup and, you know, expected to go out there and move the ball around and drive in some runs. That was me. Well, I don't. You, again, you'd have to ask these guys. I don't think that affects on how you win or how you lose or anything. I, the Yankees have been doing that since I was over there 20 years ago, and nobody makes a big deal out of them doing it. So, uh, you know, and they make you pull your pants up and sometimes wear your uniform a different way and all kinds of things, and nobody really blows that up very big. So I think, uh, you know, it's something for you guys to all talk about and 
make a big deal out of for whatever reason. And uh, it's, you know, the bottom line is about these guys going out and taking care of business between the lines and just being a team and, and bringing guys together and trying to eliminate distractions and just letting them play baseball. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Good luck.